All right, we are back with another flashback. Episode six was the last one, but I was too focused on trying to get uh, the season Rock. going. But How here we doing? are. Is the MJ? The MJ yeah, I just uh, talked to Chuck for you. game. I'm going to give you an early look. Michael comes out hot again. It's whatever the team needs, coach. This is still Chuck. Okay. Um, MP's uh, granddad. The number gets called. Knock Michael off his rhythm. So he's older now, you know. Bad boys, let's go. He's yeah, we're part of the bad boys, but uh, we have to outscore MJ pretty much, and uh, actually win the game. He's got to start with 11 points. The beautiful Renaissance Center. Welcome to Auburn Hills, Michigan. Here with Clark Kellogg, Mike Fratello, and sideline reporter David Aldridge. I'm Kevin Harlan. Mike, on this chilly winter evening, are we witnessing a succession at the Palace? It certainly seems that way. For a long time, these Pistons beat and bully Chicago. But the times, they are changing. The Bulls seem to have inherited the throne. Mike, indeed, they have everything going Chicago's way. Clark, they've won eight consecutive games against the Pistons. And oh, we're going to break that shit. getting swept in the Eastern Conference Finals. You better believe they'll be motivated tonight, Kevin. Tip-off goes to Chicago. And so the Bulls down the floor. As Paxson gets it over to Jordan, he'll work on Dumars. The turnaround, good, Michael. It's Scotty over Bro. to Michael. Here's Jordan the owning the Pistons. MJ's <laughs> looking to prove something here. It's Jordan. Looks over the defense. Closed by Dumars and hammers oh it down. Goodness. Right over Rodman. Timeout, Detroit. MJ has come out on fire. I'm gonna beat these fools, man. Truck, you're up. Come on. It's time for what we talked about. Coach needs you to get out there, play defense, and make my work for it. Coach, I'm going to make him work on both ends. No, no, no. Listen to me. I need you to focus on defense. That's it. Coach, you know me. I'm going to do whatever you ask me. But right now, we start winning this game when we make Mike work each edge of the court. And I'm going to do that. I got you. I got you, bro. Get out there. All right. Problem, All right, hustle up. Let's, Let's go. go get it, Let's go. man. Let's go. And All right. we welcome you back here to the Palace in Auburn Hills with Joe Dumars. So basically, got 11 pass. points. Having a tough time, Clark against Michael Jordan. The Pistons we got, we got Jordan here, bringing Truck in early to give him a turn against the reigning MVP. And you know, Kevin, to be candid, even before the back troubles, Dumars had struggled against MJ this season. Just 12 points per game on 29 percent shooting from the floor. Coach hoping Truck can stem the tide. And we've said it before, but certainly some history between these two teams. Central Division rivals, the Pistons sent the Bulls home three years in a row and route to titles in 89 and 90. What with the Bulls' championship and last year's playoffs, it seems at last they have the upper hand. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Pass to Aguirre. And there's the feed to Truck. Oh, the poster, baby. Truck. And Mike, for the season, the Bulls are among the league leaders in assists. Yeah, and I'm going to guard MJ, bro. A game. They moved the ball well, and they had to improve in that area in order to finally overcome the Pistons. I'm focused on MJ. I don't give a shit. Famously known as the Jordan Rules. There you go. For more on Truck, let's go across court to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, big minutes for Truck, who's bounced around quite a bit. This is his fifth team in nine seasons, so I'm sure there's added pressure for him to play well. Back to you. Pressure indeed. Bro. Hey, thank you. Well, we always talk about the pressure on the stars, Clark, but for those fringe players, they're just trying to hang around. And now he's tasked with taking on the MVP, Kevin. That's a really tall order. So it's the Pistons now. The Bulls getting the bucket. And one. <laughs> and with the Let's Not go. Backing down at all from Michael Jordan. The Let's go, Truck. The effort level you expect from Truck is on display. He refuses to be denied. Sally, he's checked in for Detroit. Walker comes in for Aguirre. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Yeah, since we're in the half of where the season, we might as well do some quests, you know. This is a big one here. Armstrong subbed in for John Paxson. And the Pistons coming off a one and two road trip, Mike. Their last game, a loss in Miami. Well, they 
Shot, what, 11 free throws to the Heat's 41 free throw attempt. Yeah, Joe Dumars was the only Pistons starter to get to the line. Meanwhile, everyone from Miami seemed to be living there. So that was the game. And if I'm headed down the dark alley, I'll take Truck by my side. Nobody's going to want any trouble. Yeah, I agree there, Mike. He doesn't say a lot. He doesn't have to. One look is enough for him to get his message across. Just five to shoot. Here's Armstrong. He ain't making that ball. Oh, good with the triple. That's the way you have to defend him on the perimeter. You can't give him any space. Well, Top one. Then they picked the right guy to put on him. Chicago leading. Here's Upson. Still scoreless. Shoot from 14. No good. Shot missing. He was all alone. Just couldn't get it to go. All right. I hope that doesn't deter him from taking that shot in the future. And so it's Michael Jordan making things happen for the Bulls. He put together quite a quarter, 13 points in all. And he looks to be planning for more. We'll return shortly. And we welcome you back to the second quarter here at the Palace of Auburn Hills for the fourth matchup of the regular season between the Detroit Pistons right, and MG's the Chicago back. Bulls. And the Pistons were very frustrated in their loss to Miami the other night. Coach got ejected and there were five other technical fouls called. And I think the Pistons frustrated just overall this season, especially when they played on the road. Hodges, that's good. Really crafty play that time by Jordan. Good decision. The defense was locked in on him, so he gave it away. Pistons trailed by three. Pass to Truck. Good, and the there assist go. goes to Thomas. Thomas got three assists. Yeah, I'll in score the game. Jordan, bro. Poor defense on the perimeter. Has to be better. Bro, eight seconds, man. Jordan against Truck. Purdue with a screen on Truck. Oh, no, he ain't away. making that, bro. No good. That defense. Jordan bothered by Truck's defense on that one. And the league leader in rebounding Clark, Dennis Rodman, averaging 18 and a half per game. Boy, that's a ridiculous stat. I mean, his defensive rebounding rate more than twice what it was his rookie Not going to blow by, man. I mean, he's literally made a science of it, studying where shots are coming off. Bro, what the fuck, man? Using his strength and length. That's on the D there. You can't let Purdue get this type of inside Purdue, position. Purdue, man. Outside Thomas. Truck wide open. There you go. Again, it's the Pistons from deep. Let's go, what Truck. A big bucket by Truck to help the Pistons retake the lead. Mike leading the league and scoring for the sixth consecutive season, the great Michael Jordan. Bro, Jordan's surprise, crazy, man. Surprise. A hair under 30 points per game this season, and that's a fucking six straight. He's accustomed to. Here's Livingston. Still yet to there score. There you go. And out of bounds, the Pistons will take it. Phil Jackson so young. For the Pistons, Dennis Looks like Rodman. fucking Colonel Sanders. For Bedford, and Aguirre subbed in for Salad. Kings checked in for Chicago. All right. We're Williams doing well. Thank you. Livingston. And so far, the Pistons got to be happy, Mike, with what they've been getting from Trump. He's played Jordan pretty even so far. Definitely holding his own. That's impressive. Now, here's Jordan. He's got 13. I don't and care. Double up Jordan. Pass to Williams. Here is Hodges. Out left to the wing. King with it. Isaiah Thomas covering. Jacks up a three. Oh, bro, Hodges, man. Gets the Fuck. Pointer to fall. Hodges has got five. He's their shooter. And how about Craig Hodges? The three-point shootout champion three seasons running. Yeah, he's led the league in three-point percentage on multiple occasions, Mike. And kind the great Larry Bird, who also won three in a row in the three-point contest. Clark, here we have another sellout crowd at the Palace of Auburn Hills, over 21,400 in attendance. Kevin, it's one of the bigger arenas in the association. And Bro. they pack it out. These rabid fans are hungry for a win. And Jordan pushing his team back into the lead. Passes it to Aguirre. Addition out to Truck. Pippen with the steal. What the hell? I got MJ. And for those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. 
And the pass to Jordan. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Oh, man. The shot, no good. Fuck, man. And defensively, the Pistons have been, Mike, as stout as ever at scoring the ball. This season, that has been the challenge. And their backcourt is normally responsible for the bulk of their scoring, along with Aguirre. But they'll need somebody else to chip in offensively. Here's Jordan following the bucket by the Pistons. Come on, MJ. Brand sets a screen for Jordan. Shoots over truck. That's just great anticipation by Truck, knowing his man's tendencies. Truck with his screen on Pippen. Three-pointer, and Truck go. good for three. Let's go, Truck. Truck's got the lead up to three now for Detroit. Bro, 18 what points. An incredible game. The back and forth between Truck and MJ. It's and Truck, Truck and MJ, takes man. the scoring lead between them. And the Bulls, Mike, so explosive offensively. A great one-two punch with Jordan and Pippen. And with Pax and Hodges and Armstrong, they step in for Detroit. Well, and one point some three-point range where he did the most damage. He knocked down three in that quarter. And we've got more on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And we're back for the second half of play here in Auburn Hills, Michigan. As the Pistons look to get a win against their rival, the Chicago Bulls. All right. Let's clean this up, boys. Chicago trailing here. And a close game here, Mike, as we begin the second half. Well, how many points well, MJ has? story in the previous contest this season between the Bulls and Pistons. Can Detroit follow through down the stretch? Now oh, here's Jordan. Ah, fuck. Jordan missing. Nice defense there by Truck. Michael Jordan using that. Oh, he's got 15. I got 18. Into the defense to draw the foul on the way up. He's gonna, this is his first chance at the line tonight. He's got to keep and it going. one falls, and that puts him up by one point. And he's making him count at the charity strike. No surprise there. Kicks it to Truck. Pass to Rodman. Truck sets the pick for Rodman. Paxson against Thomas. Six to shoot over Paxson. 18 feet away, and he knocks it down. And the Pistons lead by one. Boy, Isaiah Thomas, such a creative ball handler. Rush hour handles and a fantastic feel for how to break defenses down. And now, let's send it over to our friend, David Aldridge, for more. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Bulls are a league best 21-7 on the road. With the Golden State Warriors second best at 17 and 8, only two teams in the West with a winning road record, as opposed to four teams in the East. Back to you. Damn, that's some good stuff. <laughs> Thank Thanks for the info, David Aldridge. Disparity. I think it speaks to the depth of the Western Conference. A lot harder to secure a road win when you're up against that tougher competition. Here's Paxson after Dennis Rodman's bucket there. Pippen feeling it out a bit. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. No good nice from defense. Grant. Pistons leading by three. And out of bounds. Bro, what Chicago the fuck is Dumas doing, man? Oh, he's hurt his back. <laughs> Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. Well, we know he's bounced around, Clark, at uh, times rode the bench, but Truck has always stayed ready. Yeah, I respect that about how he prepares. A great Man. teammate, a rugged defender here late in his career. He's, he's going to outscore us now. The bad boy what separates Jordan from others, in my mind, is his singular focus. Nothing comes between him and the ultimate goal of winning the game. Outside Thomas. He kicks it to Truck. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Dennis Rodman. And that'll be his third foul so far. And so Grant will bring it up for the Bulls. Grant with a screen on Dumas. It's Pippen with a drive. Make him shoot. He dishes it to Grant. There you go. Dumars pulls it down. The Pistons lead it. 
You know, there's a sense in Detroit that they just don't get any calls. There you go. MJ can't guard me. They did when they were the champions. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's how they feel. Yeah, rightly or not, they feel they're more scrutinized when they're guarding and not getting the benefit of the doubt when they draw contact. Bro. The reply from Jordan coming back at truck. And as they go back and forth, MJ reclaiming his point lead over Truck. Okay, shut nice up. Ball movement by Detroit. Rodman kicks to Thomas. Truck in the corner. Rodman outside. Five on the clock. Truck with his screen on Pippen. Shoots. And Truck is off the mark. Jordan right up on him. Two minutes remaining. 158 left to play here in the third. For the lead, Cartwright gets the bucket. Cartwright's got seven points in the game. Boy, one. Cartwright doing a nice job there finishing through the hit. Persistence paying off. Now a timeout called by Detroit. And the Pistons making a change here. Aguirre's checked in. And the Bulls making a change. Yeah, we, had a, we had a size of the lead. Checked in. And player of the month in January, Clark, it's Dennis Rodman. 11 points a game and 21 rebounds a game. Phenomenal. It is phenomenal. But how about this? Tack on two and a half assists per game, too. And the Pistons with a 10 and 5 record in that stretch. And what a game for Trump. Mike, he's playing Michael Jordan basically to a standstill. And that's saying something. Jordan with every accolade under the sun, but that's Bro. the beauty of sports. You never know. Here's Jordan. Following the three by Detroit. So with the ball, still without a basket. King outside. Maxson against Dumars. They Bro. get the rebound. Oh my god, he smoked it. Oh my god, he smoked it again. <laughs> now the Pistons with it. A two point game. Pass to Aguayo. Yeah, score now. Outside, truck. Dishes it to Lambeer. Back to truck. Lambeer passes to Aguirre. Wants to get it to truck and does. That's in there. Coming off the assist from go. Aguirre. Now it's a four-point Detroit lead. We've got 28 seconds left in the third quarter. King outside. Passes to Jordan. No, bro. By truck. Truck's got his fourth rebound in this one. On the wing, Truck. Rodman outside. Truck sets the pick for Rodman. Oh, nice pass to Lambeer. Good. Lambeer's got the lead up to six now for Detroit. Boy, Dumars does such a really good job sharing the rock. A willing pass. Here's Jordan. Oh, what the fuck? It's Jordan with the jam. The scoring battle continues between Truck and MJ with Jordan moving back in front. The points coming in bunches as we wrap up the third quarter. It's been a good one. Pistons lead by four. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. Welcome back to the fourth quarter here in Auburn Hills and these fans rooting on their Pistons to steal a game from the champion Chicago Bulls. All right, let's do this. And Thursday, the Pistons hosting the Milwaukee Bucks. Mike handing out free windbreakers to the first 4,000 fans. A nice deal. And for the fans braving the harsh Michigan winter, enjoy those windbreakers. You might want to layer up a bit with those, just saying. <laughs> Here's Thomas, following the basket by Michael Jordan. The pass to Bedford. Back to Truck. Second chance shot. The shot by Bedford, no good. Chicago trailing here. Now Armstrong. To the left side wing. I think Jordan's up three points on us. Stolen by Walker. And Detroit doing an excellent job slowing down this much vaunted tie the game, baby. Well, we know I mean, tie between me and MJ. Pistons' identity is defense. You knew they would try to muck things up and put some sandpaper into the defense, and that's what they've done. And here is Jordan after the three-pointer from Truck. 
Jordan, kicks to Armstrong. Hobson passes to Armstrong. Here's Hobson. As long as MJ don't six. spot up. Wide open look. Here's Levingston. Sally with the rebound. Pistons leading by five. Truck finds Thomas. Back to Truck. Poked away. Outside Thomas. Truck with a screen on Armstrong. Back to Truck. That one there you falls. Go. Off Pop the Thomas triple, baby. Team. Thomas got All right, we're up three on MJ. And in this unexpected matchup to remember, Truck moving ahead of Jordan and scoring. And for the season, Mike Isaiah Thomas averaging a little over seven assists a game. Down quite a bit from his career average, but productive as ever with his scoring looks. So for the Pistons, and Beers checked in for Bedford. Rodman comes in for Salad, and it's Dumars in for Walker. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Bill Carpenter. He's, he's not shooting a three, Purdue. though. Grant comes in for Livingston. Scotty Pippen's checked in for Hobson. And it's Paxson in for Armstrong. And now we've got oh, to check in from the sideline. Whoa. They got for us, D.A. During that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear what Phil Jackson said to the team. They said, let's lock in, keep our focus. We need everyone down the stretch. Now his players looked engaged, so I think the message got across. Back to you guys. Thanks, David. You know, Michael Jordan has led the Bulls to the playoffs every season since he was drafted. That's seven times in all. But it took time for them to be a serious contender. And the Pistons had been that obstacle in their path. But last season, the Bulls finally overcame them in convincing fashion. And Truck gets it to go on the assist from Thomas. Thomas got his sixth assist on the night. Bulls trail by seven. Grant with a screen on Thomas. Outside Pippen. On beyond the arc. Okay. Take him shoot. Rodman pulls it in. Rodman's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Inside. And the foul called on Michael Jordan. There you go. And that'll be his third foul so far. Well, we're tired, man. <laughs> Up two points on them, though. We've got 155 left in the fourth quarter. Back to truck. And one. The there you go. And Fucking he's got bitch. a free throw coming up as well. And when you look at Scottie Pippen's growth to an elite level, I think it's really what's made this Bulls team so unstoppable. There you go. And you like, what, five on MJ now? Most teams simply don't have an answer for the both of them coming at you. And Mike, how about Dennis Rodman? Averaging over six offensive rebounds a game this season. And usually he looks to pass out. Oh. The Pistons wouldn't mind him trying to score a little bit more off those rebounds. Now, here's Dumars. Dennis Rodman missing his last shot. Shot clock at five. Oh, Dumas. let's go, Dumars. And Detroit again with the bucket. Pop and up, baby. Down some numbers here. The hustle stance for Detroit. Really a great job in this one. Forcing the issue defensively. Great we got to steal on Jordan, too. Combined. He ain't shooting a three, man. And also attacking yeah, make him beat him. There you go. Credit them for running the break well and being opportunistic. Now, here's Thomas. Truck finds Rodman. Truck with a screen on Jordan. The offensive rebound. Oh, more shooting points there. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. Clark, 11 consecutive All-Star appearances for the terrific Isaiah Thomas. He's one of the best to ever do it. Oh, no that's a miss. About it. He's never <laughs> missed All right, being six an points. All-Star in his decorated career. Boy, you talk about I'm still going to guard MJ. Fuck this guy. Truck never seems to take a playoff. Here's Grant. They can't stop the run with that one. It's Rodman with the ball for the Pistons. Oh, nice pass this to Michael Jordan, bro. 13 points. Stops. Pops. Jordan's shot is off. Outside Dumars. There's 25 seconds left in the game. The Pistons working the ball around now. Yeah, he's not going to outscore us. Bro, use my screen, bro. Against Thomas. The Pistons need to get off a shot here. One more. Oh. That's off by Truck. MJ playing him close. 
Dumars kicks to Thomas. What a win. There's the dish to Truck. No good by Truck. Jordan playing the defense that time. And the Pistons defending their court here at the Palace. Mike finally securing a win against their arch That shit was easy, bro. Chicago Bulls. Yeah, a much needed win to prove their capability to hold up in this matchup. It did, Mike. And with the postseason about eight weeks away, who knows? Mark, this could be a playoff preview. Yeah, very well could be, Kevin. The Pistons saying, hey, our edit tap has not been written. They still intend to be heard from in the East. For our terrific reporter, David Aldridge, along with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello, I'm Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in tonight. We'll see you later. What? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I bet you Grandpa was feeling himself that uh, night, huh? He was proud, but it's not like he thought he was better than Michael Jordan all of a sudden. I mean, I hope so. Hey, I love you, Grandpa. I do. You know I love you, but let's be real. Let's talk about MJ. The next time they play, Coach Daly put truck on MJ to start the game. Mm -hmm. Jordan had about 15 points in the first five minutes. <sighs> Brutal. Yeah. That's gosh. insane, bro. But you know, that's what made him great, though, right? I mean, Truck could get the best out of Michael on any given night. But Michael was going to use that as fuel and get the best out of you nine times out of ten. Ninety-nine times out of a hundred. Yeah, at this level, anybody could have a great game, son. Mm -hmm. But only the greatest get it done every night. So you have been listening. Of course. Kind of hard not to. I mean, you told your story like five hundred times, Pop. <laughs> kind of hard to miss the point. You're going to get old, too. I hope you remember that. Nah, I'm not getting old. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now look at my knees. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting old. We'll be just like this. Forever. Uh huh. Uh, let's circle back on that one, kid. <laughs> <laughs> ah, love you, Pop. I love you too.